Hello again everyone, today in PyMal I'm going to show you how to make a movie of your molecules actually coming together if you have two of them that you want to show interacting with one another. So we'll just start off by getting our molecule in our workspace. Okay, here is our molecule that we're going to be working with and I don't want any of these non-bonded so we're going to hide. We'll get rid of all those little red dots everywhere. So the first thing you want to do is we're going to have to make the two molecules that you're going to want to be interacting into two separate entities. So to do this, uh, I'm going to type in git underscore chain and then type in whatever you just put into your workspace. So over here is 3w9e and then here it'll show you that you these are the different chains that are in this, so A, B, and C. So if we do S, E, L, E for short for select, and then chain A plus B. So here is one of the molecules that I'm going to want to show docking into this one. So right now this is what we have selected, so we're going to go to action, extract object, and then we'll get this object one here. And then this is the other one that we're going to need to make into its own separate thing. So we'll use the only chain that's left. And then from we do that, we'll have this is selected now. And then once again, extract object and we'll get object two. So object one, object two. So now that you have both of them made into two separate objects, right now they're already together and we're going to want to show them coming in together. So what you're going to want to do is object one was the thing that's actually going to be moving and docking into this. This is going to be the receptor. It's going to act as the receptor. So for this one, action, we're going to go to drag matrix and we're just going to move this wherever we want it, just away from where it's supposed to be. From here, uh, this is where we're going to start typing in some things up here in the command. So follow these pretty closely. So first thing we're going to do is m set and then we're going to do always put in one and then just the number this is going to be the number of frames or how long your movie is so we're just going to do a, a short one of 500. And then you'll notice down here where it says frames you now have one to 500 frames and you'll get this because this is where your movie is going to be. From here we're going to have to uh, kind of say where these objects are at which point in our movie. So right now we're automatically on frame one and this is where we want to start. So this is already here. So the next thing we're going to type, we're going to type in is M view. And we're going to do store comma object is equal. And then you're going to type in object one or OBJ01. EJ01 and then click enter and then you're going to do the same thing for the second one so object 2 and then so it's going to start here and then you're going to want it to dock back into here so then go to you're going to type in the frame that you want this to be together by so we have a hundred frames here so for instance, say by the 250 frames, so halfway through the movie, we want this to be back through here. So type in frame 250, and then you'll see this go to about the center of this movie. And then to get this back to where it started, because you could have dragged it anywhere, go ahead and find the object that it is, click action again, and then just reset the matrix, and it'll put it right back where it started. And then we're going to go through that same process as before, M view store object is equal to equal to object zero one enter and then the same thing again with two enter and then what we're gonna have to do now is just go to the if you want this is where you want the movie to end you're gonna want to make sure that this is where so right now we started it here when they were separated and by here they'll look like this but it's going to want to go back to the way it started if it keeps going it'll separate again so if you want just to stay here make sure we go to frame 500 so the very end of the movie you see how it pushed it back 
and then we'll just do the same thing again. We'll reset it back to here, and then we'll just do the same thing that we did. There you go. After you type those in and you're on favorite button, go ahead and click this one to get all the way back to the end of your movie. And then it'll start up here. And if you click play, you can slowly see your molecule well, come docking in here. Um, if you make, so we did ours, we wanted it to be here by the 250 mark. If you want it to be faster, just make it occur faster in it. If you want it to dock and then let go, just move it around and basically. Every time that you get to an area that you, so for instance, say I wanted it to pause here. Um, I want it to, so right now it's just moving in slowly. Uh, say about uh, right here in the video, I wanted it to pause. So we're at frame 109 right now. At this very moment, just going to move that around a little bit. And then if we do end view object store object is equal to we'll do the same thing for two. Should pause there. There you go. And that's just if you wanted to add something or make something stop there for a longer period of time but keep moving after. Basically, all we did with those previous ones, instead of ending it at 02, we kind of put where we wanted it to be. This is another way to do it, but the other way seems to work better with very minimal glitching. But you can always do this way as well. So if this is where you wanted this to be at frame 400, just type in comma 400 and it'll do from wherever the frame is right then to all the way to 400. So this is just kind of a brief overview. I know this can maybe get a little confusing. And then, oh, if you want to, then if you want to make this into an actual video, we'll just do export movie as and then just save it as an MPEG and it'll go through all of these or QuickTime whatever you have I'm on a Mac and then it'll just go through all of these and it'll just save it to wherever you have your default location if you have any questions again with any of the other videos or this one just let me know